Detective Santos. Morning. Good morning to you, too. I'll call you an Uber. Oh, excuse me? <laughs> I got a big direct examination today in court. Some hard-nosed detective. How did you and Lieutenant Wozniak come upon the attack? We were talking to a confidential informant in the neighborhood when we heard the sounds of a struggle. Is this a scar of a story? Mm, don't they all? It was a uh, surgery. I was 16. Cheerleading injury? <laughs> oh, now I want to call you an Uber. I was on the field, not on the sidelines, running track. Were you fast? I am fast. We ran to help, and we found Mr. Russell. What caused you and Lieutenant Wozniak to enter the restaurant before patrolmen arrived? We discovered what appeared to be fresh blood on the back entrance. We entered, concerned that there might be other victims. Did you find any? You were looking at the PSAL Brooklyn Borough Champion in the 100 and 400. Records still stand. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Why'd you hang up the cleats? Ugh, that. My knee was sore, I was stubborn, and I still had the 4 by 200 relay to run. Ouch. You heard it on the last race? And that's what I told everybody, but I actually heard it during warm-ups. And you ran anyway? I was the anchor. It was my job to bring it home. Once inside, you discovered the defendant, Mr. Bianchi, right? That's right. I searched him, and I found the weapon on his person. A leather sap with blood on it. What about this one? Some scars don't have such a happy story. No further questions, Your Honor. I have a question. Detective, did you or Lieutenant Wozniak actually see Mr. Bianchi attack the victim? No, we only saw him enter. Did the victim himself give you a description of Mr. Bianchi? The victim was unconscious. We didn't have time to wait for a statement. Due respect, Your Honor, the victim's identification has no bearing on admissibility of evidence. I understand the law, Counselor. I also understand that the blood found on the door, which detectives cited as justification for probable...